Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lucas Dentons, and today I'll show you how you can set up Jetpack Backup with Bluehost and Dreamhost websites. If you're not familiar with Jetpack yet, this is a very good solution. I use it in all of my clients for daily backups, and it also has a website accelerator called Jetpack Boost, and a lot of other cool features that you should explore if you manage several websites. This allows you to manage every single backup of your websites in one single place. And let's go ahead and start the setup. So first I'm gonna start with a, a Bluehost website and we're gonna do this one, Dane Find Coffee. And first I'm gonna issue a license. So I'm gonna use the backup 10 gigabytes and soon the connection will be established and we'll be able to set up the backups. And in the meantime, I'm also going to install in my other DreamHost website so we don't lose a lot of time issuing the license. You see, now there's a, now it says backup in progress. And soon for this other domain, that will show up too. So after you have enabled Jackpack Backup, you can go to all your sites, we're going to open Dame Fine Coffee and under backup, you will see that you already have the option to enable restores. And this is very good because that will allow you to restore a version of the website in one single click without having to download the backup and upload it manually. So this will save a lot of time if one of your websites crash. So I'm going to click on enable restores. Jetpack will automatically identify what type of hosting your website uses. So I'm going to click on Bluehost. And here is where you do all the setup. And now we're going to go to Bluehost so you, so you understand how you can get all this info. You can see that I'm on Bluehost now. And you're going to click on Advanced on your left panel. And then you will see all this option. I wanted to click on FTP accounts. And now you're going to add an FTP account that you can set up on this screen. I'm going to set up the user, the domain. I'm gonna generate a password. And here, it's really important that you set up public HTML and the website and the website name that you want this user to have access to. This needs to be your WordPress installation path. So now you're gonna click on create FTP account Okay, the account has been created, and here I'm going to type in my address. This information right here you'll find from your settings on Bluehost, and this server is where you should use here, adding FTP in front of it. Now, the installation path, you're going to type public HTML name find coffee. You're going to paste the password here and here I put the user. Yeah, so this is how it needs to look like. Get information from your server right here. In the solution path, you can get it from right here. In the user, you can get it from right here. We're ready to test and save credentials. There we go, connected. And now let's do a DreamHost website. I have the backups here, so I'm gonna click on Enable Restores. So now let's go to DreamHost. You're gonna click on Websites and then FTP User and Files. And then you're gonna find the domain of the website you want to enable the backups for. The first information I need, it's the host. I already know that this is my host and I'll show you where to get this info. Go back to the screen you were before and scroll all the way up and you will find this part. This is where you get the host name and all you have to do is add dreamhost.com in front of it. And now we're going to find the WordPress installation path. I'm going to use this one, but I'll show you how you can pre-populate this. So you're going to type in home and here you need to find the FTP username that you're using. 
So I'm gonna go all the way here. I'm gonna click this one. I'm gonna get this one right here. And here, it's domain name. The username is the same. In here, we're gonna reset the password. So after setting up the password, I'm going to click on reset password. It will take a little while for the password to be updated. So now that the password has been updated, I'm going to go back here, type in, and probably this is not going to work out at first, but I'll show you how to troubleshoot it. You see, it's not connecting to server and I already know why. So I'm going to come here. So I'm going to enable port 22 with SSH protocol, save changes, and then the permissions should be updated. Permissions updated successfully. You're going to do SSH FTP. Don't change anything else. Use password and then test and save credentials. And there you go, connected. I hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you have any suggestions for content, like this video, comment, and share with your friends.